Hell yeah, Shangling, you sexy little minx! Too bad her talents are unleveled. Also, the fact that she's hitting as hard as she is with a level three Gooba, not bad. Shang Ling C4 is actually so insane. Wow. We got 46 crit rate, 117 crit damage, 220 energy recharge, and a pyro cup with uh, emblem set. But you're supposed to, you're supposed to pop ult in here because it snapshots or something, right? Isn't that right? Twenty-eight thousand damage, Pyronado. <laughs> Why is C4 Shang Ling so OP? Well. I, I mean, C1, C2, she's always good. Like at C1, you're shredding the pyro resistance of the enemy. Awesome. This one, this is more of you're going like main DPS. Doesn't matter that much. But this, C3, buffs the pyro NATO, and then C4 gives it 40% more duration. Two back-to-back -back big upgrades to your burst damage. And then you pair it with the, the, the catch, which is all centered around burst damage and burst critical hit. And you have a recipe for disaster. The uptime is insane because... If you build enough energy recharge like I am, using the artifact set, uh, the emblem set, this energy recharge one, you're getting burst damage based on your energy recharge, which allows you to get your energy recharge faster. Like, there's just so much. There's just so much. It all stacks together to make this amazing, amazing character. Feels like a five star, seriously. I wonder if I threw this team together in the Spiral Abyss, if I could, like, five star. I think if I used Kazuha and he was, like, the main DPS while the other characters were doing their thing. All right, let's see. I just want to see some. Everybody stand back! Or elemental mastery, holy shit. The wind knows it. Get up. Oh, rain cutter. I'm going in. Eat this. At the right hand, into the fire. Into the wind. Fallen leaves. Adorn my night. It's fine. One with nature. Nice and spicy. I'm gonna save my village to the last room. Everybody stand back. The wind knows. 
I can save most of my abilities for the next turn. Wow! Now you know why everyone's not like a D Luke anymore? Yeah, uh, apparently. Time to go. I don't need this character anymore. Falling leaves. Adorn my knight into the wind. Huh? Oh, let me read you first. Not good. I'm going in. Yeah. One with nature. One with wind and cloud. You're toast. Nice and spicy. Holy shit! It, those weren't even good rotations. Wow. Hold on. I want to. I want to try that again. One second here. Let's go like this. No, my sword. Ring like this. Fallen leaves. Adorn my knights. Wind strike. Teamwork is dream work. I can no longer hold back. If I had been ultimate, if I had been an ultimate from the start there, wow, wow. There's so many, yeah, like uh, the rotations could have been better. Bro, she's like, she's more busted than D Luke. What the hell? I don't even have her talents upgraded yet. Gooba is level three. What? And, and Kazuha is 666 six, six on his build. So he's fine, he's good. But it's not like he's just god tier main DPS kind of character. I'm like throwing in basic normal attacks from everyone with like level one talents. This is gross. It's actually insane. So she's got 1500 attack, 143 elements of mastery. She got the R5 catch. She has this emblem set, which is, I mean, it's pretty cool. Pyro damage, energy recharge, crit rate, crit damage, and more energy recharge. But there's like a bunch of defense and another roll on flat attack. So like could be better. This has attack percentage. A bunch of defense, like this could be much better. This bad boy got a bunch of HP and a defense roll. This could be better. And this one, pretty good, but again, defense rolls. Uh, so like, she's got a pretty good set and she is C4 and it's these two. These are like the big poobas. Extra pyronator duration that gives you four more seconds of it spinning around and then the increased damage. So that's a big one. But here's the thing too, is like artifacts on Xing Cho He's got a no bless set on that's decent for sure, but normally he's using the emblem set with this hydro piece. And so I just take the best emblem set possible, and then I I I, I replace one of the weak ones uh, with a good piece. But right now he's on this piece right here, you know, attack percentage, he's got crit damage and everything. But these two alone are doing amazing. Like really, really good. Bennett, he has some, he has some good damage artifacts too though, but he's like in a no bless set. But here's the thing, you don't really need two Noblesse sets. Like, it's a, it's kind of a waste. I don't know what would be more optimal, Noblesse on Xing Cho or Bennett. I, d I don't know which one's technically better, but I, I figure I could maybe throw another emblem set in. I don't know. And then Kazuha, he's just got this set here. It's probably not min-max, but he's got Elemental Mastery, Elemental Mastery, Elemental Mastery. That's like the key. And then uh, he's got some Elemental Mastery on these two pieces, which I'm really happy with uh, overall. So he's got nine, oh no, seven. Wait, something's wrong here. Oh, I had the jade counter on. I actually might be able to get more damage by doing the iron sting. This actually might be more damage, which is crazy. Something to, something to consider. Anyways, that is shocking how good Shangling is. When I get main DPS up on Kazuha on this, I've got to get these up. Bro, this squad's gonna be gross. Even, uh, even, even Bennett, maybe I throw some points into his E ability so when I do a random one, it hits harder. This team's gonna be insanity. I, I can't believe how good she, like I knew she was good. Everyone's saying that the, you know, the national team, she's cracked, she's amazing. I might use her over D Luke. Are you kidding me? I'm shook. Is that the title of the video? I'm repa uh, replacing D Luke with a four star. Is she the Pyro Archon? It looks like it. It seems like it. Sheesh. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.